beans. It was nice. The panini's uh, are, are good. Yeah, I, I like the paninis. I'm you know, fr- I mean, uh, yeah, I've never had. And uh, <laughs> cool. Well, we, Ellen has this one salad that she likes with chicken and shrimp and some sort of a, a garlic and oil sort of, you know, uh, dressing, you know, that uh, she enjoys and uh, it's got cheese in it and everything, you know. So uh, usually, you know, the only thing with a salad is if you're going <coughs> to, if you're going to have salad and they put dressing on it, you better make sure you finish the whole thing because by the next day, you know, either that or you have them put the uh, salad dressing on the side, you know, because uh, so it doesn't saturate the uh, the lettuce and everything in it, you know. Yeah. That's good. So, you know, so you had a quiet, uh, but you were there with your family. Yeah. That's what matters. <laughs> yeah, you know, Josh was on his honeymoon, so, uh, and uh, they came back today, you know. I'm sure uh, they have some pictures on their phone that we'll be able to see. And, uh, you know, they spoke. Actually, I didn't speak to him at all. He texted me to let me know when they were when they took off and when they landed. And, uh, <coughs> you know, he has to go back to work tomorrow. Well, Josh you know, he's had that. all his time off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, so... Uh, and that's it. What can I tell you? You know, I wish uh, one of our uh, listeners would call. Let us know how their Mother's Day was. Yeah. You know, uh, 646-595-3275. You've got Dr. Mark here in his house, and you've got uh, Felix in the studio. So all you have to do is call up and uh, let us know. Let us know, because... Uh, Otherwise, I get the feeling that within the next 15 minutes, the show's going to be over. Well, I'm going to go, <laughs> you know? uh, I'm going to go contact one of our old callers and see if he feels like calling in. <coughs> you know? We'll see. <coughs> Excuse me, I can't seem to get rid of this cough. Okay. Uh, you know? Uh, Calling Elisa? No, actually, I was thinking of calling Dan. Oh, well, you know that probably, you know, I mean, he spoke to his mother, but obviously he wasn't together with his mother because they're in Cincinnati. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so that's what I figured he might uh, want he to can, talk about. Actually, it. he can talk about uh, he can talk about your dinner on Saturday. He can also you know. talk about how he missed uh, you know his parents. What, what actually? What am I t- putting words in his mouth? He can call and talk how about he what? anything he wants. Why am I putting the words in his mouth? He could talk about whatever he no, wants. No, I didn't hear what you said. I didn't hear what you said. No, I said, why are we putting words in his mouth? He can talk about whatever he wants. No, I realize that, but I mean... Uh, no, he, he can something talk about, about how he parents. misses his parents, that he hasn't seen them in a long time. Well, you know, uh, since he's doing basically what you do, you know, all he really needs is a phone and a computer. So, uh, I mean, he can do the drive in one day. It's... Uh, a 10-hour drive to go to uh, Ohio where they are, you know. Yeah. And he can he can conduct business uh, from there, you know. That's true, but that's... But he, you know, he's, you know, he works at a regular job now, so that's a little harder. It's not like he doesn't work for himself. Oh, that's right. That's true. I forgot about that. You know, well, I'm sure, you know, as long as he makes some calls and of that nature, you know, things will work out, you know. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, so... But I'm sure he's not, I'm sure, I'm sure he's not picking up anyway. Well, I haven't tried yet. 
Oh. He may he may think that you're calling up to ask him about going out again for dinner. You know. Well, I could do two things. I could just call him on the sh- from the show and really shock him. Or I could be kind. I'll call him on his cell phone. So he's not embarrassed. Well, if I call him, it might embarrass him. What I can do is... Well, so uh, call him on his cell, you know. Well, that's what I would do. could always leave a message. Tell him we're going to stay on for another 15 minutes or so. You know. Well, let me go ahead and see what I got here. Okay. Tell me, did you get a chance to find uh, a good Mother's Day song to play for our listeners? No, I, I don't even know of one. Do you? No. Yeah, I didn't really... I mean, what can you play on Mother's Day? Uh, it's a good question. I don't know. You know what you play? Whatever the mother likes. Well, that's the well. That goes without saying, you know. Yeah, that's the end of it. You do whatever she likes, and keep quiet, and then you have a good Mother's Day. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I mean, there's no other choice about it. Uh, <laughs> I had something. Speaking of fam, speaking speaking of family and mothers, uh, I I think uh, you know before the next couple of shows pass by, maybe. Uh, you give uh, Charlie and Ann a call, you know, uh, not today necessarily, but uh, I know you said they were moving and uh, things were a little hectic and she had a new job. Yes. You know, you just call them up and find out what's going on, you know? Yeah, well, I think they're, uh, I think they'll be uh, ready to start calling back in. I know they've been pretty crazy with everything. They it's, what? They've been pretty crazy lately, so... Uh, well, you know, with moving and, and everything and a yeah, new job, I can understand that. They're trying Certainly. to, try to uh, well, they're moving with their mother and trying to sell his house. And when he sells his house, then he's going to try to buy a new house and sell his mother's house. So he's going to be, uh, eventually they want to get a mother-daughter. Well, that would uh, certainly, uh, that would certainly... Uh, you know, be good, you know, or make sense, actually, you know. And they would have, a, you know, a decent amount to put down, hopefully, so it wouldn't be so bad, yeah, well, you know. Yeah, well, of course, they sell their house, and then once they sell their mother's house, I'm sure they'll be in really good shape. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so uh, other than that, I guess nobody's calling. No, but I want the tour tell you something if I can find it okay let me just find this right here you're going to find this I think this is going to be a good topic for Friday what well well, I'm looking to find it Okay, all right. Come on. Well, you know, Chad is not calling in on Friday. He's, yeah, I know. Uh, That's he's why this is, this is why it's a good thing when he's not there. Give me a few minutes. I'll find it. It's a... Um... Okay, hold on a second. I'm hearing from Dan. Mm-hmm. That wasn't him. Who was that? Probably Lisa wants to call it. She says, "Call her." <laughs> well, That's you funny. know, uh, she must have heard what I. Okay, we'll give her. A, we'll give her a call. What do you think? Do I say hello to her. See her. It'll certainly pro- certainly prolong the show a little bit. Well, no, we'll find out how her Mother's Day was. Uh, yeah, sure. All right. We'll- We'll call her up and see how it was. Seven. And we 
Both gonna tell a hat. Happy Mother's Day. Okay, I don't know what I just did. I gotta call back again. You have mail, so. Let me call back again. I made a boo boo. Okay. Let's see now. We are calling in to Alisa. Hello. Hello. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, yeah. Couple days Thank belated, you. Thank a little belated. That's all right. Yeah. I I just stopped uh, celebrating it yesterday. It was a two parter. Actually, it was a very busy weekend this weekend. I had Samantha's communion too. So. Oh, how nice! Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me about uh, Mother's Day. What'd you do? Um. Well, Samantha took me out to eat. Nice, and then nice. we actually, yeah, um, her father gave her money and said, That's, that's nice. Yeah, that's that was very nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. So where'd you guys and, go? Um, well, we went out to Brooklyn because then we went and got my mom and we just went to a diner that the two of us like and um, hung out. And um, well, if you're going to travel into Brooklyn to go to a diner, I have to suggest the uh, the Mill Basin Deli. Okay, it's a fam- famous deli in Brooklyn. It's also, fun. We were going to go. We were going to go there. We, if my mom doesn't live too far from there. Um, but I wanted. I had a craving for. Uh, a, you know, when you go to the diner, you either get a hamburger or the Chinese roast pork. Yeah. So I got the Chinese roast pork, and um, we were just reminiscing and talking and trying to show her, because my mom didn't come to the communion, so I was showing her the pictures um, from the party. Um, Oh, nice. Yeah, it it was all right. And then yesterday, I got a surprise. Um, I got taken out again for a brunch, and um, it was, it was nice. Again, you know, had a good time. Had two mimosas because I couldn't drink when I had Samantha with me and I was driving. No, not really. So yesterday I was able to get my mimosas, and um, that was it. And it was like I said, it was a pretty good was- evening. How's your uh, health coming along? Not your good. Recuperation. Not good. Tomorrow no. I go. Yeah, tomorrow I go to the surgeon. Um, I was hoping that I was going to get released, but I'm not getting released because my um, my Crohn's got worse. Now I'm going to be going to the test, and I'm going to treatment after the test. Hmm. Um, they want to do treatments to prevent another surgery. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I, I'm not going back to work anytime soon. That's oh, too boy. bad. Sorry to hear Because that. I'm sure, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure that your boss will probably have to wind up replacing you. You know, I mean, uh, he can only hold a position so long. I know. know. Well, it, again, I have to talk to the surgeon tomorrow and see what he says, but... With what the GI was telling me, because I went to see my GI, I think it was last week. No, not last week. I think the week before. And when he walked in, I could see his face, and I was like, what's wrong? He's like, did you lose any more weight? And I was like, well, to be honest, I haven't gone on a scale because I'm afraid to, but I do feel, you know, lighter about myself. (laughs) He says, you don't look terrible. He says, but you look drawn. He's like, I'm going to well, tell you what. How weak, how weak do you feel? Do you feel weak? Um, do you have 